Yeah. I was like putting it together. I was like, oh man, this is gonna sound great. And I was like, wait, I'm gonna see what people want. All right, so I present to you part four, and I actually realized I have some tweaking to do already. But okay, so to do that, going back to part two, uh, I showed you what patterns are allowed within the language, and then found the consonant cluster, or the consonant clusters do exist. Um, if you look at all the words presented, which now I realize that's what I probably have to tweak, um, they're open at the end. So no coders are at the end of the words. So we go forward, and we go to part four. So for syllables, these are the ones that I found within the language. Um, of course, again, you see the cluster, and then you see the CD structure, but again, they all end in vowels, so that's when I would have to change that. So that means that they remain open at the end, not closed. And then when you look further at the ones, um, let's see, for the onset, again, showing that they do exist in the language that I focused on, more so trying to find the CVC structure. So then, when you go looking at the pattern presented in the data, um, we have biku, ga, meye, and bulie. Now this is where I found some more words with the CVC structure, but this is where I realize I'm going to have to tweak this. As far as the CV structure, it starts to agree, but again, it remains open at the end, so that means that, that does not agree with the hierarchy, so that means it would violate it, correct? It remains open at the end? No, it just it just ends in a vowel. It doesn't drop back off. The only problem is if you have multiple peaks. So that would be, which I'll probably present as one of the examples on the next slide, so with Biku, that's when it would violate? Two syllables. Because you have two syllables. That has to be within a syllable. So you could ask B, Ku. Okay, well, I guess I should start believing in myself in that. <laughs> okay, so within that, since Dr. D has explained that, so then I guess that would be correct. I'll further look at the information. Um, so then looking at Biku, mm -hmm. the onset, B, the Ron nucleus, E, onset then for the next syllable, the uh, and then the Ron nucleus, U. So Biku. Then looking at the weight, of the word heavy is placed on the first syllable because this is actually pronounced long and light would be on the second syllable. And that's me looking just again at one word, I believe, 20 since I really needed one. <laughs> and then that would be my references. Um, and then I guess that would be it. So, any questions? Or what do I need to change or clarify? I think you're fine. Oh, thanks. You were just looking at, uh, across.